Come and have a look at this. I'm Richard Vobes, TV's bald explorer, and I'm discovering Britain. You know, we're privileged to live in such a picturesque country. The architecture is remarkable, the landscape exquisite, and the history comprehensive. But it can often be a tricky thing to know where to go. Today, I'm visiting the site of the worst ever avalanche in British history. And luckily for me, it's in a pub. I'm in Lewis in East Sussex, a picturesque Georgian town with stack loads of independent shops. So if avoiding chain stores is your thing, then Lewis is definitely for you. But if you're a real ale fan, as I am, then feast your eyes on this. Lewis has its own brewery, and it nestles at the edge of the River Ouse. How splendid! You can just picture the hops and barley arriving on the boats at the quayside to be turned into lovely beer. There was a time when there were loads of breweries in Lewis, but nowadays Harvey's is the last remaining. Harvey's might be the only brewery in town at the moment, but in the 18th century it, the town was awash with brewers. It was a very noble profession. Now look at this. This seems to be a water pump from 1830, but I don't think it's seen much water out of here for a very long time. But I'm off to one of the pubs that Harvey's supply to learn about a terrible winter disaster that happened here in the Victorian times. The snow drop in was built in 1840, we think. There was certainly a pub here by 1840. Uh, it was built on the site of the worst ever avalanche in British history, which happened the day after Boxing Day in 1836. Uh, Fifteen people were buried, uh, seven died, eight were rescued. The storm had raged from uh, Christmas Eve uh, with really, really strong winds and heavy, heavy da uh, downpour of snow. Uh, so the winds had kind of supported the build-up of snow uh, above the cliff, which formed a kind of crest. Then when the wind stopped and it got warmer, the snow began cracking and came down. It, was, it certainly was heavy enough to crush buildings and push buildings across the river here as well. At the time, this would have been a largely um, industrial area. There was a timber yard <laughs> just down the road. Uh, there was a workhouse down the road. There was uh, cement works and um, uh, chalk cuttings in the cliff behind. It would have been quite a rough, grim place. I mean, the, the, the uh, terraced cottages that, that were crushed uh, were called Boulder Row and they were poor people's houses. Uh, we think they were arms, kind of arms houses provided by the parish. Um, it would have been a, quite a grim part of town. It wasn't just a single avalanche, there had been a couple of avalanches the day before and there was an avalanche during the rescue. Uh, one of the rescuers was in fact buried and then dug out and then carried on. Um, and the people of Lewis got together and raised a considerable sum uh, for the burial and also for the survivors. So there you are, well worth a visit. The Snow Drop Inn with plenty of real ales, wonderful ambience and a unique history. Check it out the next time you're in Lewis. And don't forget, join me again when I go exploring.